Our next uh, speaker is Her Excellency Ms. Janil Henry Rose, Secretary General of the National Commission of UNESCO of St. Vincent and the Grenadine. You have the floor, Madam. Mr. President, Director General, Chair of the Executive Board, Ministers, Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen. Mr. President, St. Vincent and the Grenadines congratulates you on your election to the presidency of the General Conference and wishes you every success. May I take this opportunity to thank the outgoing president, Mr. Hao Ping, and the chair of the executive board, Mr. Mohamed Samayame, for their outstanding leadership and commitment during their respective tenures. St. Vincent and the Grenadines welcomes Montserrat, our sister Caribbean island, to, as an associate member of UNESCO. Mr. President, small island developing states are a priority target group for the organization. We look to UNESCO to ensure that programs and activities in all areas of competence meet the needs of this special group of countries and are adequately funded. Our priorities are education, climate change, and its negative effects on the islands. We look forward to deepened cooperation that would also enable us to build inclusive knowledge societies for sustainable development and to protect our heritage and foster creativity. We therefore welcome UNESCO's draft action plan for SIDS and look forward to adopting it at the 199th session of the Executive Board. We aim to integrate in the future a mechanism identifying the specific activities that would directly benefit SIDS. We are aware that, the bu that extra budgetary funds are needed to cover this action plan. This will require a structured dialogue with the donors. Mr. President, clearly the challenges both for UNESCO and for member states arising from the post-2015 development agenda and the new sustainable development goals are considerable. SIDS will need your support if they are to achieve the goals by 2030. And we think UNESCO is well placed to help provide this through its high level expertise, capacity building, policy advice, and mutual cooperation. Goals which are especially important to my country include goal four, that is, to ensure inclusive and equitable quality education and to promote lifelong learning opportunities. And goal 13, to take urgent action to combat climate change and its impact. We look forward to UNESCO contributing a leading and coordinating role on education and also to participate in the delivery of goal 13. In this regard, St. Vincent and the Grenadines believes that the functions of IOC are closely linked to Sustainable Development Goals 13 and 14, and that its role should be strengthened. Mr. President, our key challenge remains finding ways to adapt to mitigate climate change. Climate change is reaping havoc on the social and economic life of the Caribbean countries. In St. Vincent and the Grenadines, we recall the destructive floods of December 2013. Many homes were destroyed, lives lost, roads and other communications disrupted and extensively damaged. We cannot wait for more disasters to strike. We therefore call upon UNESCO to continue to improve our preparedness ahead of imminent natural disasters through early warning systems and identify and strengthen scientific communities across the region. We welcome the 2030 Framework of Action on, UNESCO, on Education, 
which UNESCO launched in, re in response to Sustainable Development Goal 4. In line with the new target, we call on UNESCO to prioritize quality teaching through appropriate methods, including quality teacher training and development. Our country continues to focus on TVET and the development of skills for the workplace, particularly among youth. We aim to reform TVET so that we have an enhanced and sustainable system. St. Vincent and the Grenadines hopes that efforts will continue to be made to strengthen the relationship between the Secretariat and the field offices, which are at the center of delivering UNESCO's mandates. We, remain, we remind the Secretariat, that is, that we need adequate resources and that they be properly, so that our plans and programs can be properly executed, ultimately raising the visibility of UNESCO. We believe that UNESCO, through improved intersectoral action, can contribute more than ever in a world of conflict. Culture of peace should be a continuous action to encourage more dialogue and reconciliation and to spread the message of tolerance and mutual understanding so as to build a better world. Mr. President, I wish to reiterate my country's commitment to UNESCO and pledge continued support to achieving the mandate of this esteemed organization. I thank you.